Hi, my Tubies, my TikTokers, and my Twitters. We are cooking with Sheila, and we are conversating as we cook. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Today, I'm making, well, I wanted to order Kentucky Fried Chicken. I almost made a bad decision and was going to get the chicken, and I got chicken here in my deep freezer. I mean, look, here. Come on. I have a deep freezer right here. A whole deep freezer. Right here. Nothing but food in it. You got loads and loads of chicken. And you know when you order from DoorDash, it costs you a fortune. Why would I do that when I have a deep freezer with nothing but chicken? We got like chicken wings, the section part. Why would I sit up there and spend money at KFC when I make better chicken than KFC? That would be foolish. So, I'm not going to make chicken, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to take it out so I can maybe focus on it tomorrow. Okay? But I'm going to keep it up so it can be thawed. Okay? Um, I decided that tonight... I want tilapia. You know how I am about my tilap. My son says, Mom, watch it with that tilapia, Ma. Those are bottom feeders, but so is shrimp. So is, is lobster. So is clams and crabs. And we all love those bottom feeders, right? So what we're going to do today, my darlings, is we're going to make some... That's right, tilapia. <laughs> and we're going to talk about R. Kelly being released, as I'm going to take you down here with me so you can see how I season my fish. You already got an idea of how I season the fish because I've already shared this with you. So we have the tilapia here. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to... Uh, cut it out of the packets, the little packets. And as we're cutting, we can talk and chit chat. Uh, R. Kelly's being released. He was supposed to be serving 80 years in prison. And he must have had some damn good lawyers. <laughs> and, and a lot of people praying for that dude because I was one of them. I don't know why... And it's not like me to really, really take the time to really care enough to pray about a, a lot of folks. But then there are some people that I do pray for and R. Kelly was one of them. Why? Because I can't help but think that dude was railroaded. I think about all the women who made those allegations against him. They, these women, they had their mothers who had no problem with their daughters being with R. Kelly mm -hmm, because R. Kelly had money. If R. Kelly was working at McDonald's or Burger King or just an average, how you say, Joe type of job, he had a job and not a career or was successful, do you honestly believe that these women would have been pushing up on R. Kelly. And there are some things that we've heard that R. Kelly has done that's not nice at all. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, he's a Capricorn, I'm a Capricorn, and that's not the reason I'm going that route because I don't date Capricorn men. I don't particularly care for them romantically, but they're smart as hell. I would never date them because they're not my cup of tea. At the same time, me thinking like a Capricorn, you know, nobody likes being used. And a person knows when they're being used. Let me get my seasonings. Hold on a brief moment. Okay, I got a chance to line up the seasonings that I use when I'm cooking my tilapia fish. I use garlic. And I like to put the ingredients out here, the ingredients, so you can know what to go to the supermarket to purchase 
ASAP. You already have it on your shopping list. I always go to the markets with a shopping list. I don't know how organized you are, but I, I tend to do that. So, you know, when you, you don't have a list, you tend to be picking up this and picking up that. But when I have a list, I follow the list and I also keep the price next to it. What was the last price it was when I purchased it? So I use garlic. I use black pepper. I use, oh wait, we got garlic already. Okay, okay, so we, we, we I guess we, 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 we are well aware that I love garlic. I use onion powder. And I use Mrs. Dash. The Dash, because it doesn't have salt. Oh, I forgot one thing, and that's seasoning salt. Hold on a brief moment, please. So back to R. Kelly, the reason why I was kind of praying for R. Kelly is because I felt that he was being railroaded because I saw his interview when he was being interviewed with Gail, you know, Oprah Winfrey's best friend, who is a Capricorn. Oprah Winfrey is an Aquarius, like my mother, and uh, her best friend is a Capricorn, whatever. We're down to earth. We're adults, and, and, and it is what it is. But when R. Kelly was interviewing with her, and he lost his temper, and, and he everybody said, look at the way he's losing his temper. If he's not guilty, why is he freaking out like that? Yeah, let somebody go around accusing you of so many of these atrocities, all of these felonies. And I don't think there's too many of us that will maintain our composure, if you will. Hmm. Anyway, let's do some seasoning salt. We season it on one side, just one side, not too much, because keep in mind, we don't want blood pressure. I mean, high blood pressure. And then we're going to put our garlic. Wait, I think we have a garlic that's already open. Our garlic. And do you know how good garlic is for you, especially if you get it chopped up, already chopped or fresh? Garlic has so many health benefits. I love garlic. And then we're going to use, I put our pepper on our, our fish. I'm taking you step by step because I love you. And if you don't know how to cook, trust me, I take Ubers and I take Lyfts. I actually run into women that don't know how to cook. They really don't. So I say, okay, no problem, babe. They have YouTube. Go on YouTube, they'll take you step by step. So if I'm talking to one of those women, I'm taking you step by step. You got the fish right here, babe, right there, ma. And then we put our seasonings. We did our, our, our pepper already. We did our seasoning salt. We're going to put our onion powder, you see? And how much onion powder do you use? I would say season it to your taste. But for a woman who don't know how to cook, she don't have any idea how much of it. I, okay, I say put half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon of everything. How's that? Okay. She don't understand how women don't know how to cook, but they want to be up in a man's face. And I know you're not being his house slave or his cook or what have you, but let's talk about the um, Proverbs 31 wife, man. The woman know how to cook? Come on now, girls. So then we're going to use our dash on our uh, fish. And then, because we want it to be juicy, the beauty of this is, is we're going to bake it in our toaster oven. I have my air fryer. It's an air fryer, a toaster oven, a roaster. It, you know how it goes with this latest uh, technology. So Jesus Christ, bless me. Jesus Christ, my husband. You know, your husband always gets you the best of everything. He got me like the best. Anyway, and then we're going to spray some oil on top of it. Yes, Jesus Christ, bless me financially, honey. Very well. And when God blesses you with things, you're supposed to be a blessing to other people. And then we flip it over, pat the oil inside to like cling to the seasoning. And then we'll flip it and we'll flip it. And what do we do again? We'll flip it. <laughs> and we're going to, we're going to do everything. Don't put seasoning salt on the other side. No salt, because we don't want high blood pressure. And if you have a husband, you don't want to kill him. Hopefully, you don't want to kill him. <laughs> <coughs> 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 oh, 
hopefully you don't want to kill them. So we're going to put our onion powder. Right? We season that real nice. And we put our, mm, our garlic powder. Right? Right. And then we put our Mrs. Dash. And if you have issues with salt, darling, Miss Dash is the move. It's definitely for you. No salt, and yet it tastes amazing. It's awesome. So we're going to put that on there. Right? And we're going to put our pepper. Right? Okay. Right, right. And then we're going to close up stuff. Because we like to clean as we go because it makes life so much easier. I'm going to put these things away as we still talk about R. Kelly. So like I said, if R. Kelly was just the average Joe working an average job, uh, these mothers would not have been on his case as severely as they were. And uh, these women who are coming out of the closet after years, they're talking about this happened years and years ago. The same thing they did to Bill Cosby, which Bill, I'm mad at Bill Cosby because Bill Cosby was married. Okay, so I'm totally disgusted with him. R. Kelly was not a married man. He was not married to, he was divorced. He was married, divorced. All of that was over. Don't forget to put the oil because we're going to lock in that. Let's put the oil. It's better than frying it in deep oil because who needs it? Cholesterol oil, it clogs up uh, your, your blood flow. Bad cholesterol oil. Then you'll find your man can't get an erection. He got to have pills and pumps and penis rings and, 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 and all kind of injections in his penis because you're feeding him badly. Uh, don't feed him badly if you want to get things keep rocking in the bedroom. So we're going to do that right now. Mm-hmm. Put a little more oil, but don't deep fry stuff because that, that causes a lot of cholesterol oil and cholesterol oil causes, you know, uh, fatty stuff all in your veins where the blood is not going to flow through and it's just going to create a problem. If the blood ain't flowing through for a man, he got issues, he got problems, he got to watch all that. Um, and for a woman, you don't want heart attacks and strokes. Forget about that man. Let's talk about us, taking care of ourselves. Anyway, we're going to go over now to the air fryer, to our, our, uh, hi, I love you. And we're going to go over to our, uh, can you see it? Okay, we have, yeah, there we go. There we are, darlings. Okay, we have the, take out the air fryer tray because we're not going to air fry it. We're going to plug it in because I unplug things so that I can try to keep my electric bill down, <laughs> which God knows my electric bill is over $200 because everything in my house is electric, everything, even heating the water for your shower and everything. We're going to have our tray, but we're going to put aluminum on it because we don't want to mess up the tray. We want to keep it, make things easy. That's what we want to do. I'm hoping that's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. How about that? So anyway, I know I'm not going to be uh, everybody's favorite fan, but you know, I don't live for human validation. I live and work for Jehovah God and Jesus Christ validation and their stamp of approval. And I'm sure that God must have saw something with R. Kelly that the dude needed a break or whatever the hell, you know, because the dude was railroaded. Let's put a little of this oil on the tray. And then we are going to put our tilapia on it. You see how we do this? For the ladies who don't know how to cook yet. But you could always learn, darling. We put that on the tray. And we wipe our hands. And then we're going to go over to our, our uh, air fryer and our you do it all machine. It does it all. Okay, so we have that. And we're going to put it on 30 minutes. 
and the temperature is going to be 400 for 30 minutes and we're going to put it on bake no we're going to put it on toast okay we're going to put it on toast wait you got to do 30 minutes first and then toast and then baby within 30 minutes You will be eating your tilapia, your fish, which is healthy. And hopefully you'll have a green vegetable with it because that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have some tilapia and some fish. I'm going to eat two pieces of that. And then I'm going to take a piece of it for lunch tomorrow. How about that? Anyway, you already uh, heard my stance when it comes to R. Kelly. Um, and if, if, if I'm wrong and he turns out to be a demon, <laughs> Jesus Christ will definitely handle that. At the same time, I'm just happy to hear that dude is being released early. I'm sorry. I, I just wish I could feel differently. <sighs> Let's take this out of here. I wish I could feel differently, but I don't. I'm just kind of happy for dude. Whew, how about that? You see the beauty of not having a husband in the house? I don't have to worry about whether he likes what I cook or he don't like what I cook or he don't like the way I go about doing stuff. I do it my way. I do everything the way I want to do it. And I have nothing but peace in my house. And now while I'm waiting for my tilapia to cook, woo! <laughs> what time is it? It is uh, 5.15. I feed royalty at 6 because I usually get home at six o'clock, if I'm not working late at the office, I usually sometimes get from the office. I, I work until eight o'clock, you know, uh, but it is what it is, peeps. Uh, I shared this part of my life with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you very much. And uh, yeah, I uh, I said how I feel about R. Kelly. How about you share your feelings with me? And I don't care if you don't see things the way I see it. You don't think the way I think. You don't feel the way I feel. That's okay. That's okay. Guess what? I love you anyway. I love you anyway. I'll talk to you later. Bye, babies. <laughs>